Good day, mates. Oi. Oi. <laughs> nice. Welcome to Press Start TV. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Jackman. <laughs> All right, my name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is James. I am. We talk about games in March. Happy March, 2016. Oh my gosh, that seems so weird. We're already in March, 2016. Merry March, do all. Let's talk about the games of March. <laughs> um, lots of games actually coming out this month. Yep. Um, first one is uh, I want to talk about is it uh, Uncharted coming out in March yeah, or April. It, it is April. Okay. It's April 26th, apparently. Okay. Everyone cohesively boo. So it's after Dark Souls boo. 3, which means I might actually be able to get it now. Yeah. Hooray! But not till June. Ah, oh, mm. Doesn't matter. I'll get it eventually. Maybe I'll buy it for you. You should you experience it. Why not? Uh, <laughs> so sucked up it's Dark one of my most 3. favorite anticipated games coming out. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, game trumps that. <laughs> games oh, of see, March. I see a war brewing yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's his. That's his game. I'm not yeah. going to argue with him on yeah. that. Um, Heavy Rain comes out. So uh, an amazing game that came out on the PS3. Uh, kind of you choose your own quest and story and uh, type of a game. The most beautiful thing ever when it first came out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is this game deserving of the remake? On. I mean. I you know, a, a lot of people have been asking, like, what's with all the remakes lately? And I think a lot of it is because gamers that were on 360 the last generation yeah. switched to the PS4 because of the whole Xbox One debacle, E3 2013. So it's new to them. So this is still new to them, mm -hmm. and they're getting these games that we love dear because we played them on PS3. Yeah. So you know, the company's just like, yo, we got twice the fan base now. Let's do this again. Twice the processing power. Fill, give them filler until we can get Detroit out. Or I, yeah. I have just Xbox never out, thought whatever. of that in that way. That's a great point. No, I mean, That's it seems completely I valid. why we're getting so many nowadays. But, I mean, totally worth it. you're talking yeah. about tens of thousands of people that might, like you Billions. said, uh, not have, yeah. I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. PS4 is up to 36 million consoles sold through, yeah. and Xbox One's only at 19. Something yeah. so like it's that. obvious their market took a big hit. Yeah, sure. They're working on I mean, lapping. Xbox One's not a great system yeah. now, but at launch it was not yeah. a good good experience. Make sure your consoles have physical games in the future. Just saying. Yeah, good. <laughs> Look, don't ever get rid of physical games. <laughs> anyway, uh, Heavy Rain. Uh, pick up that on your PS4. comes in March. Twilight Princess on the Wii U. By the way, the only way that you get the Twilight Princess right now on the Wii U is with the Amiibo, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Unless you buy it's it good digitally through the... Unless you get digitally, store. of course. That's but a good-looking Amiibo. It is good. Mm. It is really cool. Wow. Yeah. Um, good deal. Of course, The Division. We mentioned that last week. Um, that comes out this month in March. So check that out. Again, one of the most highly anticipated games. Uh, uh, first quarter. The dark zone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, either team up, go against each other, do whatever you got to do. Definitely um, team up. Don't, don't, don't go solo. <laughs> Trust the people you team up with. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, EA UFC 2 uh, looks really good. I, because I Ronda Rousey's on the cover. Ronda so Rousey's on the cover. <laughs> Mike Tyson's in it. And actually, I saw a picture of the, their version of Mike Tyson, and he actually looks pretty beast. Nice. It's pretty <laughs> cool. Like, Late early nineties, Mike Tyson. I think they're jacked out of his yeah. mind. Like, Is it, isn't it both though? They have like two versions of Tyson. Oh, like, I don't for know. The, for the pre-order, it's supposed to be two versions of Tyson. One like early days, Mike Tyson, and then like face K tattoo. Days? Yeah, and then uh, face okay. tattoo, Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah, God. early days. Yeah, I hope oh, he talks right. while so he fights. Hang over Mike Tyson and bite your ear off, Mike Tyson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. exactly. He, I say before bite your ear off because the man was just yeah. insane. Oh, he's Mm. Uh, Mortal Kombat XL. Uh, this is basically going to give you Don't call it. Mortal Kombat 40. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 40. Mortal Kombat 40. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got to say. But that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> he's, he's uh, uh, you got uh, Predator vs. Alien. What more could you ask? I mean, this is Same like a dream come, come true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pokémon yeah. tournament. Yeah. Yeah. We're totally going to do a Pokémon tournament tournament. That's going to be great. Yeah, I'm actually excited. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hopefully that game delivers. Pretty exciting about that. I know all of you Pokemon fans out there are as well. I've been watching videos of it and actually like I'm impressed. Nine, I didn't know what to think. Nine, you gave me this one, uh, Track Mania Turbo. I don't know much yeah, about that. It's a racing game. It's an arcade racer. Oh, okay. It's got it's it. This is like 
the Excite Bike of racing games. That sounds cool. Yeah. I love Excite Bike. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when you said it. Like full loops and high banking turns, and it's set in the future, past, present, all that kind of. Oh, stuff. fun! And nice. it's all kinds of different cars, racers. It's nuts, and it's going to be awesome. I love when they do sounds mixed. Cool. Uh, like mixed uh, car types, you know what I mean? Like you can yeah. have bikes and all that stuff. Like what, what was it? Uh, was it Midnight Club that did Midnight that? Club, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they had different powers. Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. Three. Three? <laughs> Woo! Set, serve, match. Excited for that. We yeah. know who's excited for that in... This pervert right here. Yeah, <laughs> many perverts out there. Uh, Hyrule Warriors Legends uh, on the 3DS. Yep. Yeah. Um, check that out. Uh, is MLB that support from the um, our Legends. I think you can use the Amiibos. I don't think they support the gotcha. console and the 3DS. Gotcha. But I'm pretty sure the Amiibos that work on the Wii U work on the 3DS. Just wondering. Yeah, definitely the most interesting Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> installment in well, years. At first, it was a joke. Nobody yeah. thought it was a real thing, and then it came out, and everybody's like, "Whoa, this is actually cool!" And I'm I like, "I want to play." I that. think yeah. I was totally among the people who thought it was a joke, though, because if like you heard that, that didn't it sound. Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> we actually had a chance to play that with uh, with Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, nice. That was, that was, that was pretty really cool. cool. Mm. I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, Star Ocean. Yeah, Infinite Space Dis Discovery. Time continuum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so glad there's another Star Ocean game coming. Yeah, yeah. Star Ocean's great Star Ocean. for sure. Um, the huge fan base. I, I love the fact that a lot of these anime games are, are continuously getting more and more of a fan base it's awesome when i played star ocean back in the day too it, it supports a lot of like online features when i yeah. didn't really have online so yeah. i'm excited to actually play it where it's accessible my favorite one is still the one on gamecube 3 yeah till the end of time yep and mlb the show always a fantastic game loved last year great great game on sony you can only play on Sony. anyway those are the games that are coming out in march when we get back we're gonna be talking about all kinds of awesomeness news right after this Hey everybody, welcome back to Press Start TV. Uh, my name is Will, this is James. Hey Arrow. This is Nine. Yep. So we're just gonna talk about some more news and stuff. Um, by the way, if you're ever wondering why I say you're watching and listening to Press Start TV, we wanna give a big shout out to um, all the radio stations that we're on, uh, WXVA um, in Winchester. So uh, we're on 102.9 FM and AM 610. Also to Bob Rocks, uh, 101.5 in ESPN Radio. Uh, we're on all of those stations. You can catch out, catch our amazing show um, on there, and we just love talking to the masses. So there you Riding go. On the airwaves. Yeah. So thank you, all of the radio stations and all of you fans that are listening out there. So anyway, moving on. Um, apparently, there's a new uh, free mobile game coming out, a Futurama game called Game of Drones. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So excited. Uh, Not I know you're a big Futurama fan. Yeah. yeah. That was like one of our first like conversations. Almost the entire seasons that were on Fox. Like mm -hmm. times. I have them on DVD. I have all the movies on DVD. I love Futurama. It's my all-time favorite cartoon. So ever. That's why I'm excited that uh, they've That's got cool. like the writer and producer from yeah. that they've had on since 1999. So you know that the writing is going to be on point. Uh, do you remember what developer that I said was on it? Because he's from I, The Wolf Among Us, no, something else. Um, really good developer too. I feel they got like a lot actually. of the, sound, the voice actors, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Um, well, they really need three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cover sure. all of them. Maggio, Billy West, and uh, what's her face for Lila. Yeah. That's really the only three they need because they were the majority of the cast on the show. Mm -hmm. Hello, family. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to give me some more Farnsworth Bender action. Oh, um, can't wait to see what Bender So, yeah. if you have a mobile game, you like mobile games, I would definitely say check out that one. It's free to play, and there you go. It's a, it's supposed to be uh, connect like four puzzle game or something like that. So I guess it's going to be like kind of in the same vein as like Candy Crush and all that crap, but. Probably. But in, Futurama, in, in funny. The future, yeah, yeah. Right. If it's yeah. Futurama themed, I'll play. It. Yeah, whatever. You never played Pokemon until Rick and Morty redid it, so. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so, um, in a recent interview, Alex Kipman, uh, the, one of the uh, producers on HoloLens, uh, he doesn't want the Hol HoloLens, by the way, um, if you guys have caught it in the gaming universe out there, it's, um, 
I don't, well, how would you describe this thing? It's a headset that produces an image. Let's say on this table right here, it would actually produce like a 3D, 4D kind of image that you would see through your headset as if it was existing. I call on it augmented virtual reality. There you go. That's good. I like that. Both virtual reality and augmented reality mm -hmm. in the same space. Yeah. Now you don't have to use it that way. You can just look at a wall and see it on there. Yeah. Use it just as a regular um, gaming service. In, in, in the uh, demo that we saw at E3, it was nuts. It was crazy. So basically, they were using Minecraft, right? Mm hmm. The person was playing on a regular TV. The other person saw the whole world through the headset and was pushing and pulling the things around. And then on the screen, yeah, as the player sitting there cool. playing, their world was just literally changing right in front of them. Yeah. And they're just, I'm going to do this for you and do that for you. It was crazy. It was Whenever crazy. I see stuff like that, I think back to like old shows when like you know card games are really big things. And the anime versions of a lot of those card games, it was always like they always had like hollow fields right. that they were playing yeah. on. They set the card down and that came up. And that kind of ruined card games for me because I was always wanting that. Yeah. And I feel like maybe someday soon we'll get to that point. And that's exciting for me. I'm actually a huge card game guy. Yeah. Uh, and so to bring that in the next level. Like the Eye great. of Judgment on the yeah. PS3? Never took off, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I was hopeful for that when I saw it. I was like, sweet. Yeah. And then crickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so uh, Alex says that he doesn't want the hollow lens to be like the Kinect. Um, is that kind of like a slap in the face to the Kinect? Or? Well, here's the thing Kinect support is zero now. Yeah. There's nothing being made for it. Yeah. Like, I think Just Dance and. DDR are the only two things that actually work with the Kinect. Yeah, trying to like explain so, those peripheral devices to my wife the other day and like what we would use them for. Basically, all I could come up with is like, well, I can talk to the yeah, I can talk to the system through the audio. That's yeah. it. But all we need is a headset for that anyway. So. Um, mm. And what's interesting to me now too is we have heard squat about Hololens since E3 of last year. So maybe this is why he doesn't want it to now. be like the Kinect, though, right? I I, I mean. I could see it becoming a gimmick, but at the same time, I could still see it living its ability to ability to hold its own against other VR. Sure. Yeah. It's got that slight edge to it with the augmented reality. Right. Part of it. And, and we talked about that a little bit on the checkpoint, um, right. our, our podcast. Uh, I mean. Is VR going to turn into the next motion gaming type thing and be a gimmick? I hope I not. So. Uh, yeah. I, I hope not either. I know. Yeah, There's yeah. too much support for it to fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Valve is in on it. Facebook and Oculus are in on it. PlayStation's getting in on it. And Microsoft is getting in on it. And I think just as a thing, it's more immersive because like the Kinect is like videotaping you and then projecting that back at you, whereas yeah. VR is like projecting all of it. Like you know what I mean? All at once. Yeah. I think you know a lot of gamers are going to prefer their hand and controller TV experience mm -hmm. still, but I think that. You can create some worlds and particular games made for VR. You can yeah. get a totally different experience with VR that you can't get with a controller. You, you, if it's done right, it I could be I think it goes back to what we said on the checkpoint. The right game is going to make these systems. And, and yeah. I'm not saying, like, you might have a Call of Duty style of game, but it might not work for the same Call of Duty that you could pick up at, on your console right. and just play, right? Right. Two maybe different experiences. Totally different. Yep. Anyway, um, uh, lastly, I uh, wanted to give a shout out to Kinster. We got a big request from this gentleman uh, asking if we give out shout outs. So Kinster, he's got his own YouTube channel. He's asked for people to go and subscribe to his account. So I just want to say, yes, we definitely do shout outs. Hit us up and we'll get you out there. Check out Kinster, K-E-N-S-T-E-R. So there you go. You shout me Kinster. out, I shout you out. <laughs> there you go. Um, you shout my back, I shout your back. All right, um, I guess, what was the other thing that you had? Oh, I have no idea now. Okay, <laughs> well, when we get back, we're gonna have some more news and cool stuff to talk about right after this. <laughs> Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're gonna be talking about um, some interesting news for the video game industry, so we'll get into that here in just a second. Uh, once again, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will, this is James. Hello. This is Nine. Yep. Uh, first of all, um, Street Fighter V is out and, and playable, and it's a game, and it's uh, <laughs> all that cool stuff. Um, yeah. 
Uh, from what I hear, the can if you choose the story mode, it could take you like a couple hours just to go through it. Yeah, which is new for fighting games. Although the fighting games are taking the story well, mode. Combat road. story mode. Well, combat. Exactly short, but no, it's, it's not, not exactly a couple hours long either. Yeah. Well, I feel like Mortal Kombat stepped up the game for story mode. Like I even felt I, like Tekken is trying to push that it, it's going to do a cohesive story. This I time. loved what Mortal Kombat did. I thought it was genius because yeah. they made you play the other characters, yeah. and most of the time you're like, I don't have any reason to pick that character. Any to any make sense of a game that's okay. like, yeah, ninjas yeah. and yeah. Shaolin monks and cyborgs, and, and make then that a cohesive tie story. it together in a story, and it actually made you want to play the character because you want to see how it unfolded. Yeah, genius. Uh, but uh, <laughs> far. Cry from um, cry. Street, street Fighter 2, where you could just beat the whole thing and, and snot like, out of each other. You know, 20 no. minutes. Yeah. Right? I mean, if that. You go through the stages of each character, there's really no story. You just kind of, well, except for Bison at the end, where yeah. he had his own little thing. Uh, but now, a couple hours, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I need to check that out. Anyway, Street Fighter 5, play it if you want to. If you want to. Um, Tell us who your favorite character is. By the way, you guys play Helldivers? Oh yeah, <laughs> a little bit. I've dropped so many stratagems on my friends and my enemies. <laughs> uh, I my own on me. Yeah, check out Hell Divers on the PS4. It is amazing. We are loving it. Uh, if you've never had a mech dropped on your head, now's your chance. <laughs> uh, the bugs and all the other fun stuff. It gets it starts off pretty easy and then it gets crazy hard and it's yeah. a lot of fun. Have you guys played any of the bosses yet? There's bosses at the end. Me and Taylor were just like, hey, let's see what this is yeah. like. <laughs> Barely scratched him. You know, yeah, ate us alive. I love when uh, you're in a vehicle and you like exit out the front and it continues to roll and runs over you. <laughs> the bike takes a lot of practice. <laughs> yeah, we named him Liam Neeson because he's he's got a very particular he set of skills. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, of course there's the one-liners in the game that yes. are just classic. Um, About a hot steaming cup of liberty. A cup of liberty. Freedom isn't free. Have a taste of democracy. <laughs> This is the taste of freedom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of palate related humor in that, you know? I love it. Yeah. Speaking uh, of a cup of liberty, uh, let's uh, talk about Justice Scalia. <laughs> that was such a good segue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, before you do that, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is James. Too many puns. This is nine. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was very punny. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> the uh, Justice Scalia, we, we, uh, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to um, uh, his friends and family and to all video game fans and just people overall. Just, uh, we pretty uh, much owe you know, Justice Scalia what we are today. Yeah, yeah uh, the industry does. For, for those sure. of you who don't know, um, there, there's a lot that happened within the video game industry in the background that you might not know. And this is one of those things. I mean, this guy was so important to games. Um, I guess there was a ruling uh, that was coming up, and you know about the impressionism of video games and how uh, how much too much violence can persuade people to do stuff, and how much power they had over. To this was years ago. This was yeah. Since there, yeah, it this was, was a while, while ago, back. Yeah. Five years ago now. Yeah. 11. And uh, he pretty much was the face and voice of the video game industry for that entire proceedings, and his summary of the thing was that we pretty much are protected by the First Amendment rights. Yeah, he, he, he basically just preached about that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he says that, you know, all forms of entertainment are protected about the First Amendment, and, and creators and people should have their own voice, which is why we have the First Amendment. Right. But the whole issue is, you know, just there's other forms of uh, medium, though. So, I mean, you've got music and movies, or can be just, uh, just novels. novels. Yeah, yeah, sure. And video games and graphic novels and all that stuff, you know, they really have, like, get video games later on, uh, now everything started to push the envelope a little bit, but movies have been doing it for years and movies getting away with it. And music. And, too, I mean, you gotta think, R-rated movies back in the day, mm -hmm. like the 80s and 70s and whatnot, different. are PG yeah. now. Yeah. Very different. That's a very good point. You gotta have a rated R. Yeah. But the, the argument is because games are more... You can immersive. be, yeah, and, they and right. your thoughts and focus and attention on the whole thing, and and have you actually doing them, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, again, it's a form of entertainment, um, and what Justice uh, fought for was again uh, uh, those uh, creators of that media is uh, protected under the First Amendment. Yeah. And and to put um, it put it like simply, man, you you wouldn't even have like The Witcher Three. 
You yeah. would not have we The Witcher 3 at this point. A lot of it. Mortal Kombat would be like retroactively banned. <laughs> for <laughs> yeah. sure. You know. <laughs> Take this arcade machine yeah, out yeah. of here. It's become the most rare game of all time. Just yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> What are you guys here for? This arcade machine where you need to wheel it out of here. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's it'd be like a speakeasy. And it's just like uh, you'd have to like you'd have we to like have tell them the fate. Arcade. Yeah, there's an underground. There's another blacklisted titles in it. <laughs> the Fight Club oh, down. Oh, literally hey, hey, seven dollars to play it. Yeah. At that point, because it'd be so hard to find one. Yep. Uh, Alternate timeline. Well, and then you know Germany recently, uh, you know, still struggles with uh, this kind of thing. I mean, that's their views and their law. So you know, that's to. to to their own discretion, of course, but I think they're even letting go somewhat of some of these games recently in the news. Fallout 3 uh, was deemed not to be. Yeah, and yeah. without our yeah. example and going forward things and having that success and not having a degradation of our culture, I don't think they would repeal their decision, ever. So, uh, Justice Scalia, thank you so much for all that you've done for the video game industry. Truly. And again, our, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to uh, friends and family, of course. Um, so that's all the time that we have for you this at for you, Press Start yeah, TV. Yeah. Uh, you can check us out on PressStartTV.com. Also check us out on Twitch.tv slash Press underscore Start underscore TV. YouTube.com slash PSVGTV. Thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, guys, anything else? Yeah, peace out. That's it. Till Freedom next time. isn't free. How about a cup of liberty? <laughs> this is the taste of democracy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. <ya. laughs>